Well, I'm glad you're here. I gave you two sheets. Uh, this first sheet of the uh, finding the words in the puzzle, you can do that at your spare time. And uh, then we'll look at it. And then the second sheet is what we're going to be on today. We're going to look at a lot of scriptures today. And this, by the way, is space, it is uh, Bible study. And every one of those represent a attribute of God. I want to, I want to, uh, as an introduction before we pray and we get into our lesson, since we're a lot of old people in this class, well, there's a few young people. I want to share with my beloved older generation, of which I am one, the latest uh, news on the cult or shift. We are in the shift whether we like it or not. And I wish I could explain to you why today's teenagers walk around with spiked hair in all the colors you might find in a Las Vegas strip, but I can't. Even Barbie dolls now have strip purple hair. I wish I could explain to you why some of these same teenagers walk around exposing half their underwear the waistline of their pants resting somewhere around their knees. But I can't do that either. And like many of you, we've been caught between two worlds. I was born in an age, if you lived in, uh, Bob was, Bob, I'm sorry, Bob was born in an age of outhouses. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and and I'll die in one with motion sensor toilet flushers. Oh. It won't be long before our grandchildren won't believe toilet toilets once came with handles instead of invisible beams to track our every movement. I want to help you understand the world in which your children and grandchildren and great grandchildren live. There's a new term that we need to learn, and it's called social, me social, social media. Has been coined to help describe it. Social media includes email, text messaging, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and a host of other electronic methods of communication. And since the industrial age, our country hasn't experienced such a huge and culture transformation revolution. How big is social media? You say, I, I don't have anything to do with the social media. Let me share with you something. Either you use it or you lose it. Social media, let me give you, let me give you an example of what I've been learning. Twitter. You know, I've been forced to use it when I don't really care to use it. But let me tell you something about Twitter. I'm trying to help grandparents understand what you can do in this social revolution. Social media. The Twitter. It's a popular instant messaging system that lets a person send brief messages up to 140 characters in length to list of followers. And I have... 70 or 80 followers, maybe I'm near 100. The message is called a tweet. And when somebody passes it on, it is called a retweet. When Ashner Kirshner, movie TV personality, or Britney Spears, the singer, I'm sorry, BS, gets on their phone and sends out a tweet this small message of less than 120 characters reaches more people than the entire population of Sweden, Panama, Ireland, Norway, Israel, and Sweden combined. When they tweet, 
it covers more than all these countries combined. One push of a cell phone button and a massive number of people instantly receive the star's thoughts. During the night of the 2012 presidential election, 31 million tweets were sent. 31 million tweets were sent. At the highest point of the evening, people were tweeting at a rate of 327,452 tweets per minute. If you were in the army years ago, you would stood you would you was you would stood every day at a mail calling waiting for a letter that would have taken days and weeks to travel the globe. Letters written was an art, an eloquent way of communicating. Because of the influx of social media today, a young person are bombarded by thousands of sound bites. For this generation, the shorter the message, the better. That's why Twitter only allows you to send out 140 characters at a time. And the shorter that the preacher preaches, the more people come, but they can hear an hour and a half of God singing blasting your ears and not worry about it at all. Why is this type of electronic communication so important? Here it is. Let me find, let me tell you something. Out of the 6 billion people on planet, 4.8 billion have cell phones compared to only 4.6 billion who have toothbrushes. Bottom line, more people want to talk on the phone than keep their smiles shining and bright. People in foreign countries will go hungry to have a cell phone. The revolution in Egypt started by a cell phone and, he, and, and, and it, it started by people tweeting on, 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 on the cell phone and that's how everybody got it, it caused that revolution that happened in Egypt. That's why it's happening now because they have cell phones and they were tweeting one another and that's, how, and that's why in some countries it's banned because it's a powerful way of communication. You send a mail, you'll be, you'll be two weeks too late before you got there. Facebook. Trump, is that why? Is that why? In, was it in Syria that they said that was down? Yes. It was not working. The government, the government would close down a tweet, the, the tweet internet, because people were communicating through tweet, tweeters and, 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 and Twitter and so forth. Yes, that's true. That's most right. Facebook. Most of you know about Facebook, but in case you haven't discovered it, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> it's an interaction social medium in which you can share almost anything you want from puppy dogs to grandchildren to trips from a little kid throwing up in the bathroom. If Facebook were a country, it would be the third largest in the world behind China and India. The average Facebook user communicates with 130 friends. Each week, 3.5 billion pieces of content are shared between these friends. In some parts of the world, these using Facebook accounts for one half of all internet usage. Let me put it another way. It took radio 38 years to reach 50 billion people. 38 years to reach 50 million people, excuse me. It took television only 13 years to reach that same amount, and the internet hit the same number in just four years. It took Facebook less than one year to reach 20 million people. Less than nine months. In nine months, Facebook can reach 20 million people. Apple iPod app has 1 billion downloads. So, what does all this mean? We live in a world of accelerated change. Information that used to take 
years to assimilate now takes seconds. Your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren communicate much different than you do. They, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks might be true. But if we want to communicate with the younger generations, we old dogs need to acquire some new skills. Yeah. So when's the last time you uh, tweeted, uh, Bill? When's the last time I tweeted? About five years ago. <laughs> so I think so. What does this generation need more than almost anything else? Our generation. The love of our senior adults. Do you remember the television show, The Waltons? Yeah. I was asking Eric the other day, do you remember he, he has an iPod and he has 8,000 songs downloaded? And I asked him, do you have, do you have uh, Funny Face by Donna Fargo? She, he said, he's Donna Fargo. <laughs> I mean, I went on and on and on and he had no clue who they were. We're in a generation different than ours. Mom and Dad were law on the Waltons. They gave their seven children orders like do your homework, milk the cow, chop the firewood. Wood. But, where, but what were Grandpa and Granddad? Where, but where was Grandma and Grandpa? They were grace givers. They spoke unconditioned love into, to their grandchildren. You could say the Walton grandparents looked a lot like Jesus. Tweets, Twitters, Facebook will all come and go, but the love of grandparents take more than 140 character messages to explain. Above all, love each other deeply. So if you refuse to tweet, Twitter, and Facebook, then just make sure you learn to love your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. They still need love. They still need love. And I think that's great, isn't it? Because they may, they, they, cause it, when it comes down to it, kids still need to be loved. I'm glad I learned that. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try, even though he's not my grandkid, I'm going to still try to love Carlos. <laughs> 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 <laughs>